We study uh, human neurological disorders so like Down syndrome, uh, Huntington's disease, Alzheimer's. They all have, all of these diseases have a genetic basis. One of the genes we work on is overexpressed in Down syndrome. This gene, which is related to Down syndrome, also popped up in a population of, of schizophrenia patients. We would like to investigate how this gene might be involved in the pathology of that disease. I would say that a student in my lab, it's a, it's a little challenging. We kind of uh, are jack of all trades, but you have to master them all. So it's not, uh, you don't get a little bit of skill in a lot of areas, you get a lot of skill in a lot of areas. You have to be a little bit passionate because it's not a nine to five job. You want to know what's how the brain works and what's going on in the brain and how diseases like Alzheimer's disease or how loss of memory, how that happens and that's what drives you. You want to dissect every little piece of it. Everyone is studying something in the end it will come together and that really drives you to go to work every day. It's like you want to know how, what the mechanism is. I keep my lab small but I like to train my students to basically replace me. My goal is to get them to do my job better than I am. Ideally, you want your research to disseminate as far wide as you can. That's actually one of the really attractive things about CU is that there are many, many different mechanisms and organizations designed to produce these academic research and industrial liaisons. A lot of people pursue basic science for the you know, sheer joy of it, which we do, but ultimately I would like to see something from our lab actually go out and help someone 